Hey there everyone, welcome back. So this is some breaking news on the coronavirus. First thing I want to say is my heart, my prayers go to everybody that's being affected by this. Yesterday at 6.20 p.m. I took a screenshot and it said 7,965 people that have died. And then today I took another screenshot at 2.35 p.m. And it's not even 24 hours later and it's at 8,933. So it's almost like 1,000 people in one day. It's going up and that's like more than 1,000 people globally every day. That's perishing and passing away from this and uh, my heart my prayers go out to all the families being affected by this so all the way across canada all the provinces are in a state of emergency uh they state that in canada total there's 656 people 58 new cases today and a total of nine deaths with one new one today so canada and the united states decided to shut down the border to basically all traffic except for commercial traffic so cases in the United States are soaring way past over 7,500 cases now, people confirmed. Uh, it says that, that today there was over 2,031 new cases, 40 new deaths in the United States, which is horrible. Canada border to temporarily close. Trump compares the sacrifice needed to those made during World War II, saying that this is our time to stay together and sacrifice and that we need to stay home. U.S. working to determine if the self-swab coronavirus test is as effective as the other testing process. It would, would be much easier to test and all foreclosures and evictions to be suspended until the end of April. Also, Trump is dispatching a U.S. Navy hospital boat and it can actually ship over a thousand people in this hospital so they're actually going to pour it at new york all right so now i'm going to share the news from all around the world so six more cases registered in moldova and one death in moldova as well four new cases in albania raising the number to 59 as well as one more death 110 more cases in australia as well as one more death and the schools are to remain open pakistan reports two deaths today as well as the infections rose to 299 Two deaths today in Brazil, raising it to three. There's three deaths now in Norway. 17 dead in the Philippines. In Indonesia, there's 19 dead now. Spain, they report 105 new deaths, and there's a total of 638 dead and more than 14,000 cases. There's one new death in Algeria. Bangladesh reports its first death. Belgium reports four more deaths now. France reports 264 new deaths. Germany reports 28 deaths and over 12,000 people confirmed to have it. Over in India, they report that the army has its first case. Iran in one day, the death total is over 1,135. Two deaths now in Luxembourg with over 200 cases. 15 new deaths as well as 146 new cases in Netherlands. This death in Portugal was reported and it was actually the chairman of Satander's Portuguese unit dies from the coronavirus and there's 194 new cases in Portugal. Sweden has over 1,200 people infected as well as 10 deaths. Turkey actually announces two deaths now and increases infected to 191. Switzerland says that there's a confirmed over 2,700 people infected and 21 people dead now. And a list of other links that didn't work is 20 new cases and 3 deaths in San Marino, 676 new cases and 33 new deaths in the United Kingdom, 10 new cases, 1 death in Iraq, 5 new cases, 1 new death in Burkina Faso, 53 new cases, 2 deaths in Brazil, 93 new cases and 3 deaths in South Korea, 13 new cases and 11 deaths in China. In Italy, they're announcing that there's 4,207 new cases, 475 new deaths, Oh, wow. And it says infected 2,629 health workers, which is 8.3% of, of the actual healthcare system, which is crazy. And also in Italy, they're saying that 46,000 people complain of being sick and possibly infected with the coronavirus. Then people are stating that babies, young kid children can't get the virus, but that's not true. They actually reported that a five-month-old baby is part of the new seven cases and also... It was reported that a newborn becomes youngest person diagnosed with the virus. So even a newborn that was freshly born actually had the coronavirus. Also in the UK, it was stated that all schools will close beginning this Friday in Scotland, Wales, of Northern Ireland after announcing the measures for Scotland and that they would not assume that schools will reopen before the summer holidays. Then there's this video footage of a truck being raided for food. I'm not sure, but this was tagged with the coronavirus situation and said that this food truck exploded in the state somewhere.
So yeah, it was pretty intense. So it took me two hours to edit and do all this from 2.35 p.m. at 8,933, and then it went from 4.08 p.m. at 8,140, and the cases jumped up another thousand people as well. So yeah, those are all the updates from all around the world, breaking news, and I thought I'd share with all of you just to educate and keep you all up to date. If you all can do me a favor in return, just like this video, comment down below with your opinion and suggestions as well as subscribe. It takes two seconds and it literally, it's like this button down here. There's a button down here. You just go click it and it just takes two seconds. So yeah, I really appreciate your love and support. I really appreciate you sharing, retweeting, and actually sharing all of my videos on Facebook or wherever with your friends and family because none of these videos are monetized. I'm just doing it to spread awareness and to kind of keep you up to date with uh, the news as well as educate you all what's going on, not only locally but around the world. So thanks for watching, everyone. My heart and my prayers go to everybody that's being affected by this worldwide. And like the, the researchers and scientists and experts say, it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. And uh, this is just the starting point of it. And we literally think it's bad now. Just wait. Uh, you know, it's just going to get a lot worse. So thanks for watching, everyone. God bless you all. Stay safe. Stay blessed. And peace out.